their power grows a hundredfold because now you can reliably build AI. Everybody's jumping on MCP because it's very organized. Everybody needs something like that if you want to use LLMs. We argue that everybody who's using LLMs will need to shift to some form of neurosymbolic AI soon. Because just neural AI, like ChatGPT, Claude, all of these tools are great, but we all know they hallucinate. And that's actually their feature. And why do they hallucinate? Because they're a bit too creative and a little bit too dumb in some ways, I have to say. I don't mean in a bad way, but they don't actually reason. Models are really good at pattern matching. They're great at like giving you answers for all, all kinds of things, but you always validate that answer. So that's where the DKG comes into play. DKG is symbolic AI. It's actually not creative at all. It's literally symbolic in the sense of these things connect in the graph. We know that two plus two equals four. You can encode that in symbols. The premise is that everybody will have to shift to some form of neuro symbolic AI very soon because we will be hitting the limitations of what, what can be done with LMs. Together with the DKG, their, their power grows a hundredfold because now you can reliably build AI. And that reliability comes from both symbolic, the power of the graph, but also the verifiability and ownership component. So that means for every piece of information that uh, some agent uses to do something, we can be sure where it comes from.